then they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We have come to, uh, been blessed, amen, to come to the first Sunday in December. Amen. Amen. The first Sunday in December, which is the last first Sunday of the year. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. And God has been good to us and he's blessed us to be here. Uh, as we stand on the dawn, amen, of a new year. Amen? Yes. I mean, that's a blessing within itself. Amen? Yes. I mean, we all know of those who have gone on uh, unexpectedly in some cases. Amen? That's right. But God has saw fit, amen, to bless us. And for that, I just want to say thank you, Lord. And I ask that you would just give the Lord a hand clap of praise for his goodness. For his mercy, amen. For his grace, amen. For his love, for his kindness, amen. amen. Because, I mean, he didn't have to bless us, but he did, amen. 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 I want to say you would stand as we sing, What can wash away my sins, amen. amen. Nothing but the blood of Jesus, amen. What can? What?
said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Thy handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go, borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow, not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt thou pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. Mm -hmm. So she went from him, and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God. And he said, Go, sell the oil, and pay thy debt, and live thou and thy children of the rest. Amen. 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 And God Amen. a blessing to the reading, hearing, doing of his holy word. Amen. 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 Father God, we come before you this morning with thankful hearts. Father, we thank you for letting us uh, be here with our family and friends to uh, receive this last month of the year. Yes. Father, we thank you for allowing us to be here on Sunday, that uh, you kept us safe through the week. Yes, sir. Father, we are thankful that we're entering this season uh, celebrating the birth of your son. For without him, where would we be, we would, uh, we thank you, Father, for giving us our uh, conqueror, our prince of peace, our Lord of lords and king of kings. Father, we just celebrate him and are so thankful for your son, Jesus. Yes. Father, we, have, we invite the Holy Spirit into this service yes. that we may be filled with the word that is coming later. That we may be doers of that word, Father, and, and be builders of your kingdom. Father, we uh, ask you to be with every family that's represented here. Uh, every need that is represented here, Father, you are a healer, a way maker, and a chain breaker, Father. We thank you, and 
we, your children, uh, are blessed by you. Father God, we uh, see fit to come here and worship you, for you are indeed worthy to be praised. We thank you for your many blessings, and we ask you to be with us uh, as we go forward through the remainder of this year. In your son Jesus' name, we pray it and ask it all. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. I just want you to just give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. For truly he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have a selection. Uh, oh, come all ye faithful. Oh, come all ye faithful. Corinthians 11 verses 23 through 34 for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and, and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me after the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as oft as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death until he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged altogether. But when we are judged altogether, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world, 
Oops. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. <laughs> and, and if any man hunger, hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto to condemnation, and, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. At this time, amen. You may be seated. At this time, uh, there be any announcements? Please. Okay, there be no announcements. So I'm just going to uh, welcome everyone here today. Uh, it's good for us to be here. And we just ask that you just get involved with the service and just as we uh, praise and invoke the Holy Spirit to come in and we get in the right frame of mind to receive the word of God. Amen? Amen. So welcome. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, there will be an announcement. Amen. I, I don't have an announcement, but I do want to uh, share with everyone to keep trusting Strickland in your prayers. Amen. On um, over the weekend, her husband caught COVID, so that's why she's not here today. She doesn't have it, but you know, they tell us when you are around it to keep away from others so it doesn't spread. So we want to keep the two of them in our prayers um, and hope for a safe recovery. Okay, amen? Amen. amen. And at this time, we're going to have tithes and offerings. We'll turn you into the hands of the trustee. Amen.
another selection, page 220 in your hymnals, page 220. Page 220. God will take care of you. Yeah, let's do joy to the world. Amen? Amen. How about that? What 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 number is that? Um, number 61. 61. Joy to the world. Hmm? Yeah, 61. That's one y'all can pick up easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. church and to uh, the work of the Lord. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. And that is to be admired. Amen? Yes. Uh, he is a giver, a strong giver. Amen? Amen? And that is a testament, amen, to himself and to his stock where he comes from. Amen? All right, all right. Amen? Mm -hmm. So as we prepare 
to listen to the word of God. I'm asking that you would pray with the man of God as he brings the word today. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to have our preparatory song of prayer, followed by none other than Minister Jarrell Bass with the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 Lord. Praise God, praise God. Amen. Well, it's been a little while since I sang the song that comes to mind at this time. Because um, I listened to the scripture as it was being read. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the song that came to mind. Amen. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. You're more than enough for me, Jehovah Nisi, God, you're with me, you supply for anything we just want to say thank you for thank you Lord. thank you Lord thank you thank you for every blessing thank you for every open door thank you for every shut door thank you thank you for how you kept us through yes. it all yes Lord 
Now, God, in this sacred still moment, as we ready ourselves, prepare ourselves to hear from you. Yeah. Have your way in this place. We've heard from the news reporters. We've heard from social media. But now, God, we want to hear from you. Yes. Yes. So interrupt whatever it is going on in our minds and in our spirits and in our worlds. And Lord, have your way and have allow way, us Lord. to hear fresh from heaven. Yes. Yes. And we seal this prayer knowing that it's already done in the name of the one who's already turned the water into wine. Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 We have come this morning with another chance to worship God. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. In the beauty of his holiness. Mm -hmm. We worship him because of what he has done for us. Yes. Okay. And we praise him for what he's done. God is so awesome, church. Yes, he is. Yes, he, is. he is awesome. All yes, by he is. himself. All by himself. Yes. He yes. is so awesome there are some things he hasn't seen himself. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. For God has never seen a situation that he could not solve. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Right. God has never seen a sinner he could not save. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. God has never seen a substitute for his son. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. God has never seen a sinner save themselves. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right. David said, can I say something? What you want to say, David? David said, I've never seen the righteous. Yes, yes, yes. Nor his seed begging yes. for bread. Yes. We deserve, yes. he deserves all of our praise. Yes. That's right. Yes. 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 Bringing us through another year. Uh -huh. We thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you, Bishop, in his absence. Again, for another opportunity to be able to speak once again to God's people. Amen. I said it before I also said that Dr. Jones is an outstanding man of God. Yes, he yeah. is. Yes, a he man is. who loves the Lord and his That's people. Right. Thank you, Lord. Couldn't ask for a better person Amen. to follow. Amen. Amen. Yes. Our text this morning comes from 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 through 7. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to stand, but I'll read it again just to put it in a fresher in your memory. And it says, now the wife of one of the sons of the prophets cried to Elijah, your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. But the creditor has come to take my two children to be his slaves. And Elijah said to her, what shall I do for you? What do you have in the house? And she said, your servant has nothing in the house except for a jar of oil. Yes. King James Version may say a pile of oil. That's right. Then he said, go outside. Borrow vessels from all your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Empty vessels mm -hmm. and not too few. Mm -hmm. Then go in and shut the door behind yourself and your sons uh -huh. and pour into all these vessels. And when one is full, set it aside. Yes, sir. So when she went from him and shut the door behind herself and her sons, and she started pouring, they brought the vessels to her. Okay. Yes. When the vessels were full, she said to her son, bring me another. Mm -hmm. And he said to her, there is not another. Mm -hmm. The oil stopped. The oil stopped flowing. Yes. She came and told the man of God and said, go, sell the oil, pay your debts, and you and your sons live on the rest. Mm -hmm. I have read that from the English Standard Version. Mm -hmm. I want to tag this text, close the curtain. Close the curtain. Close the curtain. Yeah. Close the curtain. Yeah. Several years ago in my hometown, of Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, I was invited to participate in a play. A uh, production that would be featured on Father's Day that was titled, When Men Pray. The directors knew that I was not a 
actor of any kind. Okay. So they only assign me the roles to open up the play and to close the play. Mm -hmm. They limited my time to be in front of people. Okay. Yes. They limited my lines for me to talk with people. Mm -hmm. Because they knew I was not an actor. Mm -hmm. I'm not an actor of any kind. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember so much of anything these days. <laughs> So the result of that was keeping me in the front and keeping me in the back that I would not interrupt their play. Yes. Not a great actor at all. Not an actor of any kind. Okay. So to make sure I did not mess up the play, they only gave me a few lines to open the play and a few lines to close the play. Okay. All right. All right. Knowing that I had no acting skills whatsoever, mm -hmm. never asked me to step out of my character or who I was. Mm -hmm. Just open the play and sit down, sir. Mm -hmm. In the course of that play, they did not permit me to leave from the stage or from behind the play. Mm -hmm. I had to stand there and wait as they finish the entire play. Okay. Mm -hmm. I could not go sit in the audience. I couldn't go and help mm -hmm. on the back end. Mm -hmm. I had to sit there as they regulated me for two hours. Mm -hmm. oh, my. Had nothing else to do with the play. Mm -hmm. Just open the play and sit down and be quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> During that time, I observed something during the play that I did not observe when I was in rehearsal. Okay. At least the rehearsal that I participated in. Okay. During the presentation of the play, I did not see or we did not rehearse the scenes. We did not switch out anything. We just came forth and presented our lines accordingly. Mm -hmm. I noticed that as I sat back there and watched the amalgamation of these actors and singers and musicians all come together, mm -hmm. there was a scene switch. Mm -hmm. These people are called stage hands. Mm -hmm. They come out, they close the curtain, they switch out the props, mm -hmm. and they change the scene. That's right. They did this with speed and skills. Okay. But I was not impressed with their speed and their skill. Okay. I was more impressed that they were able to execute their speed and skill in the dark. Okay. Okay. All right. mm. Stage hands had the responsibilities of closing the curtains, mm -hmm. switching the props on the platform and rearranging the scene mm -hmm. quickly mm -hmm. in the dark. Yes. And by the time the curtain opened back up, mm -hmm. you saw a whole new scene that had been put together in darkness. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Might I suggest to someone in here that you thought God was the director of your life. Okay. But I stop by to tell you that God is the stage hands in your life. Amen. He is setting the stage okay. and rearranging the scenes right. in your life. He's got you in a dark place okay. because he's getting ready to set the scene. All right. All right. See, truth be told is, church, we're getting ready to walk into 2024. Yes. You don't have an idea, you don't have a vision, you don't have an outline mm. of what's going to happen. Yeah, that's right. No, we don't. Hmm? That's right. That's right. So you need not to be ashamed of that because God has you in a dark place. Yes. And the dark place don't mean a bad thing. Okay. It just means that your life is starting all over again. Uh -huh. Yes. Hmm. 
And because he has you in the dark place, he's switching the scene. Okay. He's closed the curtain because there are some people that are looking and watching him, what he's doing in your life. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody in here who has nosy people in your life? Yeah. Yeah. And they always staring and watching you, telling you what you doing, when you doing it, how yeah. you doing it. Yeah. But they'll never give you a compliment or give you thanks about it. Yeah. They just being nosy. <laughs> Yes. See, God is rearranging the scene. All right. All right. So that when he opens that curtain, the next time they look at you, right. they don't see Amen. what they already saw before. All right. All right. Hmm. <laughs> it's darkness. And ladies and gentlemen, darkness, therefore, is not an indication that your life is over. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> it's just starting all over yes, yes, yes. again. Yes. 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 Thank you. Such as the discipline discovered in the discourse of 2 Kings chapter 4. God has closed the curtain on this family. Mm -hmm. He has closed the curtain on the life of one of his prophets. Okay. Mm -hmm. You and I read, ladies and gentlemen, that this darkness has set aside on the family. God has closed the curtains and rearranged the scene and set it because he's getting ready to do something for this family. Amen. You and I read that this man of God died. Mm -hmm. yeah. And his widow was left with all the bills. Yes. Mm -hmm. She had no money. Mm -hmm. And the creditors are coming to claim her boys yes. as collateral. Yes. 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 She is caught between the consequences of debt and death. Yes. And she's getting ready to lose her children as a result. Mm -hmm. She goes to the dean of the school. His name is Elijah. Yeah. And he runs the seminary and one of his students dies. Mm -hmm. The wife of the student who died comes to Elijah and says, your servant, my husband, is dead. Yes. Yeah. And the creditors are coming to claim my boys as collateral. Wow. Okay. Elijah looks back and says to the woman, well, what do you want me to do? Well. Then he proposes yet again another question. Mm -hmm. What do you have in the house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She says, I have nothing but this pot of oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Elijah gives her three directives. Don't touch the pot. Number one, Go get empty vessels from your neighbors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, have a shut-in with your sons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And number three, pour. pour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Close the door and pour the oil mm -hmm. from the pot to the vessel. That's right. Mm -hmm. hmm. The Bible tells me that God got on the back end of that pot as she poured mm -hmm. more oil. She goes back and tells the man of God, I did what you said. And Elijah says to her, take those vessels and sell it. Mm -hmm. And with your proceeds, pay off your debt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your children are not going into slavery. Right. Right. And you and your children live off the rest. Mm -hmm. That's the story. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now I want to back up and talk about a few things that's Heading into our walk with God. All right, all right. If y'all don't mind, let me posture this message. If I had to sum up this text this morning, mm -hmm. I would say, if you obey God behind closed doors, mm -hmm. he'll open up doors in front of everyone else. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 God will open doors if you obey him behind closed doors. Mm. I got open doors for you, but I'm waiting to see what you are going to do when I give you instructions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us need an audience to do what God has asked us to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of us need a plaque with our name on it to yeah. say yeah. God helped us do it. Some of us need a name on a pew to identify what God has done. But the truth of the matter is, only God is watching. And if you do what he told you to do, 
He'll open up doors that no man can close. Right. Can I get a witness? Preach. That's really the whole point of this story. Right. Amen. God will open doors yeah. if you obey him behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about in the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about in your career. Mm -hmm. On your job. Mm -hmm. When nobody's looking. Mm -hmm. That's right. Are you obeying God? Yes. God will open doors if you obey him behind closed doors. Amen. And when you get behind closed doors, this is what the text teaches us. Mm -hmm. Number one, you have to first establish your priorities. Mm -hmm. Establish your priorities. Okay. Come in, pick your face in the text. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, when she comes to Elijah, she tells Elijah, your servant, my husband, mm -hmm. is dead. Mm -hmm. hmm. Catch this, everyone. Mm -hmm. Elijah is responding to her as though whatever happens is based off of what she asks. Okay. okay. What she prioritizes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, lady, you presented me with several problems. Mm -hmm. The first problem is your husband is dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second problem is your children are going into slavery mm -hmm. and you're broke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a bad situation in itself. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The first problem, your husband's dead. Mm -hmm. And what Elijah is saying to this woman is you need to decide what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. Because even though I can do it all, Mm -hmm. I'm not doing all of them. All right, all right. Hmm. Lady, do you want me to resurrect your husband? <laughs> or do you want me to rescue your children? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me help you out. Come here. Come on now. Lady, <laughs> do you want me to resurrect your past? Or do you want me to rescue your future? All right, now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Because I'm not doing both. Amen. And the reason why Elijah can do both is because he is wearing Elijah's mantle. Right. And see, Elijah was able to raise people from the dead. Okay. Uh -huh. wow. Hmm? Wow. Amen. Do you want me to resurrect your past yeah. or rescue your future? Mm -hmm. You see, ladies and gentlemen, God got all power, but God ain't got to do all things. Well, that's, that's right. right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hmm. So you need to decide whether. You want me to resurrect your past mm -hmm. or rescue your future. Okay. And here's the joke of the text. Mm -hmm. If we look at the text with an exegetical eye, the blessing of the text, y'all, is this. Elijah never let the woman answer the question. Mm -hmm. Might as well walk with me today. Mm -hmm. He never let her answer the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. This point is only for four, y'all. I'll make number five. The best thing God did for you is not answer your prayers. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Because he knows that you can't be trusted to give the right answer. He knows you can't ask the right petition. Amen. So what he did was just ignore you. So you wouldn't mess up your life. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Which means, church, mm -hmm. God didn't give you the chance to mess it up. Okay. Yeah. So we got something to thank God for. Praise Amen. Yes. What do you have in the house? Mm -hmm. That's the next question. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you are behind closed doors, mm -hmm. you have to establish your priorities. But the second thing you have to do is evaluate what's present. Uh -huh. What do you have in the house? Listen to her answer. She says, your handmaid has nothing but this pot of oil. Uh -huh. She gave one response with two answers. Uh -huh. One response uh -huh. with two answers. Okay. What do you have in the house? Uh -huh. What she was telling Elijah is, I got me. That's the first thing. Because when the story started, it was your servant, my husband, right. died. Amen. But when you got to the second verse, it was, now I'm your handmaid. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let me help you out. Right. When the story started, I didn't need anything from you. 
But now that we on verse 2 and I need something for you. Now my hands up. Come on, you might as well walk with me this morning. When the story started, I didn't want anything to do with you. But now that I need something, I'm ready to serve you. Yes. Now she's the handmaid. Mm -hmm. yeah. What she is saying somewhere between verse 1 and 2 is her status change. Right, right. Because sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, God draws you closer to him mm -hmm. by taking away what you're going to. No, I'm not. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. As long as her husband was in her life, uh -huh. he was possibly an impediment to her meeting God. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Hmm. As long as he was there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I want to offer you is me. I'm now your handmaid. Mm -hmm. The second thing is this pot of oil. What do you have in the house? I have nothing but this pot of oil. Mm -hmm. I have nothing but this pot of oil. Mm -hmm. She's saying I got nothing and something at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Hello. Amen. Right. I got something and nothing at the same time. Because the something that I got, I see it as nothing. Oh. Mm. That's how she's looking at it. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. But see, the problem is she's looking at the oil in the pot and not the pot of oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Say something. Come on now. Right. She's looking at the pot of oil, but not the oil in the pot. Okay. God is looking at the oil in the pot. She's looking at the pot of oil. All right. Okay. That's right. Okay. That's right. The problem is, mm. she has this thinking, thinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Come on now. Ladies and gentlemen, come in. Stop judging people by the exterior. Mm -hmm. Because you can't judge a person by the case that they came in or the package that they're in. Mm. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm. She's looking at the pot of oil. God is looking at the oil in the pot. Okay. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And here's the theology of the text. Okay. The oil that she was, the, the oil that she said was nothing, okay. was everything to God. Everything. Okay. everything. Was mm -hmm. everything to God. Mm -hmm. God used it to change her life. That's right. Yeah. Amen. The theology of the text is the pot of oil was there okay. before the death and the death. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. The pot of oil is older than the death and the death. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come in. Right. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. All right. Which means, church, mm -hmm. you don't need a miracle. Your miracle needs a need. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm in here this all morning. Right. That's all right. I'm right. It's all right. I'm with you. Your miracle is already here. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hmm? That's right. That's right. God has already worked it out on the issue. Yes, sir. You don't believe me? You know I love to give some proof. Yeah, true. Genesis chapter 3. Amen. Adam and Eve was getting ready to get evicted out of the Eden of God and Eden. That's right. Mm -hmm. And before they left, God said, I got to clothe you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. They had to be clothed with skin. Yes. God didn't have to create the animal. The animal was already there in the garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Come on, follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genesis chapter 20, 22. God tells Abraham to take his son up to the mountain. Right. Right. Abraham don't have no address, so he don't know which mountain he's going up to. Right. Hello. All right. But by the time he gets to the top of the mountain, there's a ram caught already in the thicket. That's right. Which means God had already took care of the problem before it was. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Genesis chapter 14, Exodus chapter 14. Okay. Uh -huh. We find Moses standing at the river. Right. Hmm? That's right. God didn't tell him, I'm a creative stick. Mm -hmm. Use that stick I created in chapter 4 and stretch your hand out and the water will split. Yeah. God already created the problem. God already created the result before the problem. Yes. Hmm? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Exodus chapter 15. They already got to tomorrow. Yeah. And they said that the water was bitter. God said, take a limb off this tree and throw it in the water. Yeah. The tree was already there before yes, they got to the bit of water. Yes, that's, right. that's right. That's right. I still ain't got to see Come on. First Samuel chapter 17, David got to stand before Goliath, and the people tried to give him a, a sword and a shield. David said, no, I got a slingshot and some stones. That's it. God already met the need before the problem. Yes, okay, I still ain't got you. Before you were born into sin, 
Jesus was slain on the foundation of the world. Yes, 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 Amen. Yes, yes. He had already yes. saved us before we were able to be born into sin. Yes. Okay. Yes. Come on. Yes. I got you. Yes. Have you ever went to work and you were broke? Yes. yes. You didn't know how you was going to eat lunch. Yes. Yes. And sometime around 2, 1 o'clock, noon time, lunch came. And you stuck your hand in your pocket and you found a piece of change. God left that money in there. That money was already there when you had those clothes on the last time. He already met your need before the problem. Huh? Oh, God provide. Won't he meet your need? He's always, we, we, we Baptist folks says, he always have a ram in the bush. Yes, he do. All I'm just trying to tell you is that the oil was there. All the time. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right. that's but she saw it as nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. God had taken her away from the oil on a journey okay. to increase yes, yes. her mind, her capacity, mm -hmm. only to bring her back to the same oil. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The oil was always there, but her thinking towards the oil Thank you, was not appropriate. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. hmm. Here's God's word for someone in 2024. God will put your miracle on layaway <laughs> until you stop that stinking thinking. All right, all right. God can't give you a vessel-sized miracle if you got a pot-sized mind. <laughs> God says for 2024, I'm not going back in 2023 to fix what you didn't finish. See, now we're talking about your future. That's who we are, your future. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He will hold on to your miracle mm -hmm. until your mind is right. Yes. God will not give a vessel-sized miracle to a pot-sized mind. Mm. All right. Hmm. Mm. You got to tell your neighbor, expand your thinking. Expand your thinking. <laughs> you think you're too small. You think you're too little. You got to expand mm -hmm. your thinking. Yes, yes. Hmm. You said it's nothing, so I'm going to hold it. All right. Well, Until you get your thinking right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, she went to a man of clout, mm -hmm. and he sent her right back to the people. Yes, sir. That she bypassed. Mm -hmm. That's what the text says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My Lord. It's your neighbors who know your stuff. Glory to God. <laughs> Come on, you might as well pray with me. It's your neighbors who know your stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. But she was trying to be all wonderful and cute. Yeah. And go on past all them people yeah. to get to a man of clout. Mm -hmm. When God already got your blessing right next to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You so busy thinking little just because they don't have a tag, a tag, a title. Come on now. Hmm? Well, I'll tell you neighbor, I might have your next job in my pocket. Right. Don't discount me because I don't got a title. God will use the least expected person in your life to give you a miracle. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Amen. That's true. The person you was mean to yesterday might be the person you asking for a job tomorrow. Yes, yes. That's true. I'm right. I'm right. That's right. Hmm. That's right. Don't discount me. Don't discount. Here's something funny. This is a preacher's wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a preacher's wife. That's right. That's right. Okay. I didn't make this up. This is a preacher's wife. That's right. Us preachers would appreciate this. She didn't want to let nobody know she was broke. Mm -hmm. That's right. Can you imagine us? Yes. We walking around with our hot hats, our red bottom shoes on, like nothing's going on in our life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She had been going to church with her hat on. She had her red bottom. She had her fur on. <laughs> and she always gave this impression that everything is good. That she's the it factor. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. until, she don't ha until she runs into a season where she don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God cares more about killing your pride than you care about yourself. Mm -hmm. Eliminate your pride. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go get empty vessels. Yes. Because I'm ready to bless you mm -hmm. if you're ready to start you're from right. emptiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. That's what the Bible says. Y'all yes, right. ain't reading right. the scripture? Yeah. 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 That's right. The Bible says, don't get full vessels, mm -hmm. get empty vessels. Mm -hmm. That's what it 
percent. You can't get full vessels because if you're trying to be filled, you can't be filled if you're already full. That's true. Yes. Amen. Go get empty vessels. Mm -hmm. Go to your neighbors. Mm -hmm. You have got to start from a place of emptiness. Mm -hmm. What would our church be today if we all came in here full of something? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What if we came in the church and stopped saying, God, fool me, fill me, mm -hmm. but empty me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. What if we came in this church and said, God, empty me of my mess, empty me of my inparticipation, empty me of my isolation? Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't need to be filled. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to be empty. I'm sorry, I didn't come to shout you this morning. <laughs> Maybe we don't need to be filled. <laughs> Maybe we need to be empty so that God yes, sir. can fill us. Yes, yes, yes. You got to eliminate your pride. Number two, employ privacy. Close the door. And don't invite anybody in to your closed door meeting. But your future. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't bring your neighbors. Don't bring your friends. Mm -hmm. Bring your sons. Mm -hmm. Just you mm -hmm. and the closed door meeting mm -hmm. with your future. Mm -hmm. And shut the door with your future. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Shut the door. Mm -hmm. That's what it's saying. That's right. That's right. And God says if you serve me privately, mm -hmm. I will reward you openly. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. But don't expect me to bless you if you don't deal with me in private. Mm -hmm. okay. right. Because there's some stuff, amen, amen. that I want to sh be shut in with you. Yes, Because there are people that I want to shut out. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm. Eliminate your pride. Employ privacy. Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. yes. This point ain't for everyone if you're super rich. <laughs> well. She's already broke. That's right. She's bereaving and broke. Yes. That's right. She's yes. got debt and death. Uh -huh. Yes. And the one thing that she does have, God tells her to get rid of that too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All she has is a hole in the pot. Uh -huh. God tells her to pour that. Uh -huh. That's right. Pour it. Uh -huh. Pour it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right. And the difference, church, between the pot of oil. And the vessels of oil was the release of oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture says. Okay. She kept pouring. Mm -hmm. Her son would say, Mama, the vessel's full. She said, Bring another. Mm -hmm. She kept pouring. Mm -hmm. Mama, the vessel's full. Bring another. Mm -hmm. She kept pouring. Right. Mama, the vessel's full. That's right. Bring another. She kept pouring. Mm -hmm. Mama, we ain't got no more vessels. <laughs> but the oil never lost. Nope. Nope. The Bible says the oil stayed. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm? yes. What that means, church, is the pot was just as full as it was when she poured as yes. it was before she started pouring. Yes. 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 <laughs> Come on, church. Yes. I don't know who, who needs to hear this, but God is mathematically dialectic. He adds by subtracting. <laughs> he, he multiplies by dividing. <laughs> Come on, church. <laughs> the oil was full. As if it never left out the pot. <laughs> God adds by subtracting. Multiplies by dividing. <laughs> Only people that can understand this are our titles. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to get a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> Only the tigers will know what that sounds like. Because the Bible says the more you give, the more, the more he'll give, give to you. That's Amen. That's right. Hmm? That's right. This is the last point, and I'm out of here. She went back to Elijah mm -hmm. and said, I did what you told me to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kept pouring. Yeah. I kept pouring. Mm -hmm. But 
But the oil never ran dry. Never ran dry. Mm -hmm. I did what you did. I took the vessels mm -hmm. full of oil. Yeah. And I sold them. Listen to what Elijah says. Yeah. Take the proceeds mm -hmm. from the sales. Yes, sir. Go pay your debt. Mm -hmm. Your children are going into slavery and live off the rest. Mm -hmm. You lady came to me trying to pay a bill, and I was just trying to help you to start a business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that the next time this happens, you'll never find yourself in this position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something, church? <laughs> when you do what God tells you, eyes have not seen, mm -hmm. ears have not heard, yes. mm -hmm. neither has it entered. Y'all might as well talk back to me. Come on now. I don't know the Bible by myself, do I? Come on now. Touch somebody and just tell them. Do what he told you to do. Do what he told you to do. Because behind closed doors, behind closed curtains, it's only God watching. Yes, right. Yes, right. The ice is on the cake. You ready for this? Here we go, Elder Jefferson. This story happened because a preacher died. So that his wife and children could survive off the oil. I know. Let me bring you in. Yes, yes, yes. This story happened yeah. because a preacher died. Yeah. So that his wife and children can live off the oil. Mm. One Friday on Calvary, All right, a preacher died. Yeah. So that his children yeah. can live off the oil. Yeah. That came 50 oh, days oh, later oh, called oh, the Holy oh, Ghost. Can I get a witness to this morning? Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Somebody ought to thank God that thank the oil Lord. still thank works. You, yes. Yes. You, is, is there anybody still covered by the oil? Yes. Huh? Yes. That's what he did. The oil still works. Yes. Hmm? Yes. A preacher died. Yes. So that his wife and children can live off the oil. Right. In my house, there's been a shortage. Yes. But every time I look around, mm. he still supplied my needs. Yes. Every time I step out the door, the devil is always busy. Yes. But he allows me to make it back home safely yes. because he is still working on me. Yes. If he woke you up this morning, you ought to thank God for that. Yes. Amen? Yes. If he's met your need, you ought to thank God yes. for that. If the oil is still full yes. from the pot, you ought to thank God for that. The fact that he went to Calvary and died for you and I so that we can live yes. off the oil, we ought to thank God for that. Because the Bible says if he's done anything for you, yes. let the redeem of the Lord say so. So if he's healed you, say so. If he's woke you up this morning, say so. If the blood is still running warm in your veins, say so. Close the door. Close the door. Amen. Close the door. Close the door. Yeah. Because the oil still works. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Close the curtain. Close it. A.K.A. close the door. Amen. Because the law still works. Hallelujah. The blood, amen, still works. Amen. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 At this time, the doors of the church are open. Amen. The doors of the church are open. Amen. Amen. Would there be one that would like to come and get this oil, this, this, this blood, and never lose this power, amen. Yes, and never amen. stop yes, running. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Thank, Hallelujah. You, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, amen. 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 Seeing that there be none, amen. We're going to, amen, have a short prayer. I guess you just stay right where you are, amen. We're going to have a short prayer and then we're going to prepare to have communion, amen. 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 As you bow. Heavenly Father, we just come to you, Lord. Just thank you for the, thank you, Lord. For the word thank of God you. today, Lord. Thank you for the oil and the blood, Lord, that still flows.
that yes. never stops flowing, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you like, uh, right now, God, for the word that is going forth. Thank and, you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for just getting a bit of a nugget, Lord God, something to hang yes. on to. Yes. 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 Oh, God, just to, just to know, God, that you're working, Lord, in the dark, behind the scenes, Lord God, on our behalf and for thank our God. behalf and for our good, Lord. And for that, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. So Lord, as we prepare, Lord, to partake of this communion, Lord God, we ask right now, Lord God, that that blood that never stops flowing, mm -hmm. God, wash us clean in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.